door. Thank you. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Center's Bison. Welcome back to our Bison channel. Thank you guys for watching us. First thing I wanna do is I wanna thank EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. It is so nice to be back here at the Ponderosa and it's good to be back in Oklahoma. Didn't really wanna leave Yellowstone or Jackson Hole or the Grand Tetons. What a beautiful time we had. Brooks loves seeing all the animals. So can't wait to tell you more about that trip. <laughs> These guys, you hear the skid steer running. It means it's time to uh, get to work. So I'm gonna put out a bell of hay to these guys, these knuckleheads here. I've also got to move some panels around to put on the west side of the barn because we are two weeks away from working the bison. So we are getting prepared for that as well. So, so I'm gonna put up some freestanding panels, kind of show you the layout and the plan of what we're gonna do with all that. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let me jump, boss. Get out. Go, go. Shoot. Well, I was just uh, about to go put out some hay to the to them, to the yearlings, and uh, a hoss is coming in. So I'm gonna hop in the skid steer. I'm gonna give those yearlings a bell of hay. They come up here because their Oklahoma pride feeder is right back over here. Then we're gonna go visit Big Joe, and then also. We're gonna do a little family gathering at, here at the Ponderosa. We're gonna eat some bison chili outside here at the trailer. You guys, this is Thor, by the way. That's Elsa's replacement. But, uh, yeah, he's doing a good job so far. Big boy.
talk to you inside the skid steer because it's super windy today. But uh, you can see there, I'm just using my hay fork that I have here on the skid steer to roll that bell out. And I kind of contemplate on, always go back and forth, what's the best thing to do uh, when you put out hay. Yes, it's, it's uh, we're halfway through October and we're putting out hay, but I, I told you guys that. All winter, I always contemplate, do is it better to roll it out? You know, if you watch some other guys uh, on YouTube and whatnot, uh, you see that some of them do roll it out and some of them just put them in hay rings. Uh, I don't know what the best thing to do is. I, I use both strategies, uh, but something about these bison, what they do, and, and cattle may do the same thing, but uh, if you leave a bell of hay in one spot, here's one of the problems with it. One, they all can't get access to it. And with their, uh, their pecking order, the dominant ones are gonna get the round bell first. They're gonna get to it and uh, get the core of it first. And so the others are limited, unless you wanna put out two bales of hay, and that's pretty expensive right now, uh, considering we still have uh, winter, it's not even here yet, and we still have a lot of months to go to put out hay. Uh, so that's one of the problems. If you put it in a hay ring too, we use one at the Dunbar herd, but if you leave it in one spot, they also will lay on it and they poop and they pee on it. And so whenever they do that, it's almost ruining some parts of it. Now they'll eat around it and whatnot, but you know, it's just not very attractive to them whenever others are pooping and peeing on your food and uh, laying on it. So, you know, I get it, I understand. I probably wouldn't want to eat that either. With that being said, I, I kind of like the idea of spreading it out. You can kind of see some of it, but this is the area where I like to spread it out is, is uh, I bought this hay. I've got some of our own, which we only had 27 bales produced this year on our hay meadow, but it, it, it's good to take other people's nutrients and hay and spread it out on um, your own pasture. And I like to do it here in this burn area where it actually caught on fire uh, last spring, uh, an accidental fire. Anyways, that, that roared through here. Uh, so the, the grass is really low because they like it short and they grazed on it hard because it was a fresh growth fire burn. And so uh, I like to spread it out here just to kind of cover uh, that ground that where that short grass is other than like the rest of the pasture, it still has some tall grass left in it. I kind of like rolling it out also because it gives all of them a chance to eat it at the same time. They, it, you can spread it out uh, sort of evenly, patchy, and they can spread out and get what they need and, and come back to it. So they're probably still going to lay on it and whatnot. But, you know, every person's different. Every farmer, rancher's different. They all have their own opinions on do you put in a ring, no ring, or do you spread it out? Now that we got the chili cooking here at the trailer, since I got the skid steer, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these freestanding panels up in the west side of this barn area where we're gonna run the bison through like we did last year, uh, just getting all this prepared. Uh, but I've gotta go over a fence, and the easiest way to do it is drag it uh, when you drag several panels together. So I'm gonna stack them together. I got a chain I'm gonna hook up and I can pull them through the gates. And once I get them through the gates, they're easy to manage. From there with the with the uh, pallet forks i can pick them up and move them wherever i want so i'm going to pull them through the gates and then i'll do that guys i want to tell you about ecoflow's river 2 series ecoflow introduces the river 2 the best portable power station under one kilowatt hour the river 2 will build on the success of its predecessor by redefining the portable power station under one kilowatt hour and up to 30 percent louder than its predecessors up to 800 watts rated output to power 80% of appliances. There are four ways to recharge your portable power station that makes it very convenient. AC wall charging only takes an hour. Go from zero to 100% in one hour. That's the fastest ever extreme technology. Ultra reliability provided by the safest LFP battery cell. It's portable and lightweight. Power to pick up and go. As loud as seven pounds. With a compact portable design, the River 2 is made for outdoorsy escapades, from boondocking to barbecues at the beach. 
With built-in handles and a light weight, it's never been easier to take power on the go. Charging with renewable energy as well, you can fully recharge in three hours by fast solar charging. Safe LFP battery with six times longer life cycle. Five times faster than other power stations on the market. Always be prepared for your family whenever there is a powder outage or travel without a plan. With a cold front coming in and with some much needed rain, we thought it was a good time to cook some chili out here at the Ponderosa. Using some of our ground bison meat, mom and Marissa put a great chili together. Power all at once. Farewell to overload issues. Achieving true freedom of electricity used by satisfying 80% of power needs from the 1600 watt AC output while capable of powering up to 11 devices simultaneously. With this portable power station, we were able to run a crock pot cooking our chili. We also used a waffle maker to press the cinnamon buns. My wife thought this was a great idea. She yeah. saw it and thought it was a good time to try it. My wife, being from Nebraska, a popular thing to eat with chili is cinnamon rolls. and so. Powered by the river too, we used the waffle maker to cook our cinnamon rolls and they came out fabulous. Small size, big power with the X boost up to 1600 watts. The river two series has an AC output of 800 watts. Need to power a hairdryer, microwave, electric kettle, crock pot, or waffle maker? Crank it up to 1600 watts with X-Boost mode to run those high wattage appliances.
All right, so I got a couple panels up. I've got one here, one right here, and one here to cut off the corners. I'm not finished with this, I know, but this kind of gives you an idea of where we're going with this. So we'll get them to go, we'll have them in this trap is the idea, and we're gonna run them down here with the skid steer. Now they're gonna run through there, and Doc will have his system set up like it was last year. That's the idea. So I, I've got another pan. I'm used. I've got three panels tied up right now, and I'll have another panel there to cut them down. We'll make this gap. It's a little too big right now with this panel, so we'll probably have to come across here and make this gap. Squeeze it down. The idea is to run through here. Something Doc taught me was if you leave this space open right here. So when they come down here, they'll be in here for a couple of days and they'll, they'll think that they can come down this lane and turn and, and come in here. Doc says, hang a gate right here. So I marked off 10 feet, put a 10 foot gate right off that panel, hinge it off that panel. And they think they can come in here and circle. They think that they can come down and around here and circle in here instead of coming down this alley and getting trapped. So we'll leave this space open for them. We'll leave all of this open for them so they can come around here. The day of working, right before, we'll shut this gate, we'll tie it up right there. It'll be hinged off of that freestanding panel upright. And now they're trapped. So when they do come down like they've been used to, now they have to be forced to keep going in our lane right here. And then they'll be worked that way. Hey, leave him alone. Tom's Haas. Pretty though. Yeah, he's, he's out. Well, you got to, you got to, you get to trigger. The handle's broke, son. What? The handle's broke. Oh yeah, the crank on it, the trigger in it. No, you 
Basically. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Eating the chickens. We need it. Why did it grow in some places? Uh, yeah. All right, so we're out here. This is where the pond is that we got cleaned out. Kevin and I are throwing out some rye. Kevin got me some rye seed. Another gentleman that follows me along uh, sent me some rye seed with some uh, another mixed grass set that we're gonna spread out. We're spreading it out right here, which is where a lot of this uh, bulldozer came through and cleared a spot for us because we're gonna build a new fence here uh, in the future, near future. We're gonna go on the pond and spread some out there too because it is bare no grass but we're getting rain tomorrow so that's why we're trying to hustle and throw some of this seed out and rye is is great for winter time so we're going to pull over here on this dam and start throwing some seed out as well i think he wants to eat it yeah, he thinks, he thinks it's huge. yeah i threw some out it looks like they probably there's some coming up yeah they well they they frequent this area but they'll stomp on it and it'll be muddy and if it would rain this right here would definitely come up here mm -hmm. with them stomping walking the fence. walking on it mm -hmm. but you do have some coming up see that cow right there see that ryegrass oh yep see yep right there? sure is she wants to be there's a little bit right there Sorry guys, we don't have any feet for you. Deer like that. No, and I haven't thrown anything up here. Looks like it's just got some leftover Bermuda from last time. Get that over and move it. My rig is my rig is broke. Did you get some of that seed in there? I got this whole garden mix. Yeah, this is wrong. That's what this was. Sure did. Got a lot of guys end up having a long day late evening their store again doing what you're supposed to be doing barking at some dogs or strangers or whatever but um yeah got a lot done we threw some uh kevin and i threw some uh, rye out and uh some uh, mixed seeds out some winter mixed seeds out um around the pond dam and uh, a couple other plots uh where we had uh, uh some work done and then uh, I had a little visit with the Big Joe Herd to make sure they're good. Uh, I want to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. 
Uh, it's that time of year. We're getting a cold front that's coming in tomorrow, which is bringing some rain. And that's why Kevin and I were hustling, trying to get some seed uh, spread out. And it was getting dark, but we, we got a bunch out on the pond dam and even down inside the pond and on the back side of the pond because it's 100% chance of rain. And that's the first time I've seen 100% chance of rain in uh, Murray County in a long time. So uh, hopefully we do get the rain. And then hopefully a lot of that rye will come up and some of those mixed grasses will take hold uh, from uh, hopefully some moisture that we get. So I'm gonna go in here and eat some chili. My mom and Marissa and Brooks has got some chili ready for Kevin and I. So we're gonna go in here and eat some chili. I wanna thank EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. The EcoFlow River 2 Series is the best portable power station under one kilowatt. It is a perfect solution for your outdoor travel use or even a basic assurance for home backup. Click the link in the description and get your River 2 for this winter. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon.